Hi, my name is Shaktri Silva and I'm resident in Ratmanan in Sri Lanka. I'm currently a assistant lecturer at the University of Colombo um, and I've been so for the past one and a half years. Uh, I came to Sri Lanka in grade four actually because my previous education was in the Middle East and when I came to Sri Lanka it was a bit tough for me to adjust. Uh, for example, learning Sinhala, learning Tamil and learning most of my subjects in single medium. But eventually I caught on and with the support of my teachers and my parents I was able to adjust myself and gradually get um, good grades. Um, and once I completed my schooling, I had decided that I needed to go into public university. That was a target that my parents set, and as a first generation graduate, that was a target that I believed that I needed to achieve. And with that in mind, I wrote my advanced level examination, and it was a strenuous process. It was tough, it was challenging, but of course, um, at the end of the day, it bore results, uh, allowing me to get into Columbia University from my first try to the arts faculty. Once um, I graduated from the University of Colombo, I had several options. I had the option of either pursuing my PhD or doing a master's degree or entering the job market. But of course, um, I believed that I needed to continue my education. And with that purpose in mind, I decided to apply for several master's degrees uh, in international relations offered by several universities. In the case of the IDP, for example, um, I believed that I needed to get into blood work. There was, there was one particular university in specific that I realized that I needed to get in because the program was very much related to my areas of specialization, my areas of interest. This influenced me quite a lot to select the Lartrobe University. And when I went through the website, I realized that the Lartrobe offers a very, very special scholarship uh, to students from India and Sri Lanka. This was very, uh, this was not only a very prestigious scholarship, but this was also something that was very challenging and tough uh, to obtain. Once I applied, uh, once I thought that I needed to apply, I contacted, my first choice of contact really was the IDP, because they have, they have a well-recognized network of institutes, but also they have a very friendly and supportive staff that helps you to identify which universities to apply to and guides you throughout the process all the way to the obtaining of visa. So I came to the Bhattarmonal branch first off uh, because not only was it close by but also I believed that uh, I would be able to uh, apply to the Lathrop University through the IDP. And once I came to uh, the Bhattarmonal branch in particular, I encountered a very friendly and very supportive staff. In particular, uh, when I first informed them that I needed to apply to the Art Road University um, and that I, uh, that I believed that I was able to obtain the Vice Chancellor Scholarship, they supported me and believed me throughout. Uh, throughout the process, they not only guided me because this was my first time uh, entering into this tertiary level higher education uh, field, they not only guided me but told me what are the documents that I needed, what are the, when will I need these, how should I send these, how should I fill the applications, what are the deadlines that I need to meet, as well as what are the documents that I needed to obtain and how I should obtain. This was a process that was new to me, very new to me, but this was a process that I was ably and substantially guided by the supportive staff at the Bhattarmula branch of the IDP and for that I'm very thankful for them. It was a long process, I applied early last year and in September I got the offer to join the Lathrop University, September last year, that is 2020. But of course I waited because the Vice Chancellor Scholarship was something that was, um, that was provided or granted to students uh, towards the end of the year, that is in December. So I did not take up the offer and I spoke to my agent here quite a lot um, to figure out which is the best time that I should accept my offer. And of course, once the Vice Chancellor Scholarship uh, names were announced, I was delighted to know that the Lathrop University had selected me as a candidate for Sri Lanka for the year 2021-2022 um, academic year. And with that, I was able to accept my offer. But the support that the IDP at Patramula extended did not stop there. Even after I received it, I was guided throughout in the process of obtaining biometrics as well as in the process of filling and applying for my visa. These were important processes and if any mistake happened during the process, I would have to not only uh, bear a substantial financial burden because the application of the visa requires money, but also I would have to uh, spend a lot of time and effort reworking my visa. Throughout this process, 
the IDB in Batramulla handled uh, my case very efficiently uh, and supported me throughout. And for that, again, I'm very grateful for that. Um, I am at the crux of entering into tertiary level of postgraduate education. And I'm truly excited about this opportunity, this valuable opportunity. Uh, and I believe that uh, with the kind of support that I've obtained from the IDP, I'm sure that many of you who are expecting to apply to postgraduate studies or to undergraduate studies to Australia, to the United Kingdom, to the United States of America, to New Zealand, to Canada, wherever you intend to apply. I strongly believe that the IDP in particular is one of the best institutions to talk to because they will not only guide you, they will not only give you the information that you need to make the best option or make your best choice, but the institute will also provide you with the guidance, support, and knowledge necessary that helps you guide that helps guide you throughout this process and make a successful application and reach your expected academic targets.